part of works and doesn't because Nick said it didn't have to work. That wasn't a requirement. Uh, <laughs> it's it's Delphi Prism running. Oh shoot. Um, yeah, Twelve, Delphi Prism running. Where did go? Oh, I know. I'm on a different time zone. Um, running on the previous uh, last year's uh, CTP Community Tech Preview of Visual Studio 2010 which includes .NET 4.0 with the parallel extensions. And we've got a build of, of Delphi Prism uh, integrated into it that kind of sort of works. But remember, that wasn't a requirement. So, so it's, it's, a, it's really like way out there, because we don't even know when Visual Studio 2010 is going to ship and when we're going to get the new shell and all that stuff. Um, and the other thing is that this build came with .NET 4 and the parallel extensions, so if, if certain things were working, I'd show you like two parallel loops running. But this is what's cooking in the lab, and I just downloaded it. So, so we can say new project, and just show, you know, you know if I could, well, they need that, well maybe they have, do they have those, uh, whatever that magical keystroke is? To find out? I think it should be the two little fingers on both space, uh, both shift keys, because that's home row, right? Your little fingers aren't doing much anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. But, but don't listen to me, because I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm too old. Uh, so here I see found new project Delphi Prism. I can see all the different things, right? Console apps, Windows apps, and so on. Silverlight, WCF, uh, WPF, all those kinds of things. And then I say Windows application and give it a name like Windows application three. And it was Bob Kingsbury years ago at one of our board cons who said, "You're a real Delphi programmer if you have at least a hundred Project One dot exes on your hard drive." And he was drinking beer during the session when he said that. So, um, so you can just you know toolbox and put a button down and do the usual things that you know that we all love to do. Do the old button and and, and write you know button one. Oh, here I'm not even sure where I am. Now. It's on a virtual PC, so because that's the way Microsoft shipped the, the CTP. So text, right? And it's not great, but and we can use double quotes, which I really like. And I hope we can get that in Delphi um, native. And I'll tell you why, because I get tired of counting the number of single apostrophes when I want embedded apostrophes. <laughs> So you can put double quotes and then real single apostrophes and strings in, in prison. I want that in Delphi. Barry or whoever to go I want that. I'm not sure about the Heretic. <laughs> but again, I, I will run the company, so there you go. So uh, that's that kind of thing. And, and I'm having a build problem right now because again, Nick said I didn't have to have it working. So it gives me a build error. And the other one is I'll just open up a recent project and show you the syntax. You've probably seen it on the, uh, what was it, console two, I think, Nick. Uh, if, if I could do a build with this thing that I just downloaded, uh, you'd see on my multi-core machine, and because I'm in .NET uh, 4 with the PFX, the parallel extensions, then the syntax is for parallel, colon equals, and then your loop, and then you can just, it'll generate the right code with the parallel extensions to send those loops off to different cores, all right? So there's my code range four, I think, Christina, I said that. And there's my what's cook, cooking or limping or crawling in the lab. <laughs> I think there's going to be a beta of 2010 Still sometime. Still in the mix. Still in the mix. Yeah. So, okay, who's Jim? Is Jim next? I don't know if Jim or you. We 